Hey everybody, Retro Pie Guy here. Today I'm going to go over how to set up a hotkey option to exit your PSP emulator. I've been getting a lot of questions lately since we put out our new game collection card, which includes the PSP emulator. This is the PPSSPP emulator, not the um, other version. This one has a lot more updates and better gameplay, in my opinion. So, if you've jumped into your game collection for this particular emulator, you've quickly found out that you cannot exit this with your regular hotkey functions like you can in all your other game collections. So there is a fix to this. I have it for you. We're gonna walk through this. It's gonna be super easy. So I will say this, if you do need assistance with mapping your controller to this particular PSP emulator, we do have another video available that walks through all of that in depth and also includes this um, hotkey function as well. So we will put a link in the description below to that particular video in case you do need more assistance with this emulator than just setting up a hotkey function. So for the hotkey function, we're gonna jump into this. It's gonna be super simple. We're gonna go into our PSP collection. We're gonna select any game. You're gonna access your settings uh, regardless of which game you go in here. So it doesn't make any difference. Just select any one of them. I'm gonna jump into Tekken 6. Once we get in here, we have to jump into our settings. So if you've already set up your gamepad controller, you can hit whatever button you've assigned to bring you to your settings. If you haven't done that yet, then you're gonna need a USB keyboard plugged into your Raspberry Pi, and you're gonna hit escape on your keyboard to jump into those settings. I always select the uh, L2 button on my PlayStation controller in order to get to my settings. Again, whatever you have done in your previous mapping setup is what you're going to do to open up those settings. So once we do that, we come to our settings page here. Now we're going to go over to game settings. We're going to confirm that. We're going to drop down to controls, confirm that, and then jump over to that top option, which is control mapping, select that. So here you have all of your configurations for how you've mapped this in the past. We are going to go down to where you likely uh, skip this, which is the pause option. You can see I've already programmed that in here. If you're unable to exit your emulator here, then yours is probably blank. Or if you have a keyboard in there, it's probably automatically set up to escape. So to set this up on your gamepad controller, just hit this option with the X button or whatever your particular controller's corresponding button would be. So I'm gonna hit X on here, it's gonna say map key. This is where you select the button that you want to use in order to exit this particular emulator. Now it doesn't work the same way as your other game collections in RetroPie. So you're not gonna be using that start and select button um, combination to exit. You're gonna to have to use a button that you're not using in any of the gameplay within this emulator. So. If you're using a PlayStation controller, you don't use your L2 or R2 buttons. You can use either of those options. If you're using a controller that has extra buttons, like an 8-bit Doe controller, you can utilize one of those extra buttons that you're not using in this particular emulator's gameplay. So I'm gonna use my L2 button. I select that. It puts in this uh, little code here next to the pause option. So that's all we need to do. So now we're gonna to go to our back option over here and confirm that. Make sure you don't just jump out of this. You do need to back out of these pages in order for it to save upon um, exit. Now we go to back again at the bottom. We're just backing out of these screens. Now we're gonna to go to continue in the top right corner. Just like that, we're back into our game. Now if you hit the button you just assigned as your exit or hotkey button, you'll see it brings you right back to the settings page where we were just at. In order to exit this, we are gonna go down to exit to menu. We're gonna confirm that with the X button or your corresponding button. Now we are going to move over to exit and we're gonna hit that. Just like that, we exit this emulator and we're back to our game collection page. From here, we can obviously change out um, into another game collection or shut down our system, whatever we need to do. We have exited our PSP emulator and we're good to go. All right, so that's gonna do it for today. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of different um, tutorials like this, gameplay demos, product reviews, whole bunch of stuff on here. 
And of course, you can check us out on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.